So we just got this feeder for our dog. It's a puzzle, it's a slow feeder. There's different levels in it too. So there are different abilities of intelligence can try to work on this. Um, so this is the first time my dog has ever done any sort of puzzle food activity at all. So we're gonna see how she does for the first time. All right, come here, take a look. Can you figure out how to use it? Right here. Oh, good girl. All right, she's got the really easy ones. She hasn't quite figured out that she has to like, use her paws and move things yet. Oh, she just used her nose to, see, see, look. She used her nose to open the other one. So like the level one feeder is what they're calling this. Oh, I need to put the sticky feet on this. It comes with some suction cup grips, which she obviously will need. Look. Look. I just showed her how to use the push button, so we'll see if she can figure it out on her own. She seems to be enjoying it. She's doing a lot of sniffing, a lot of moving. So, so she's finished her whole lunch, and let me kind of tell you a little more about how it went. It took her a while to figure out the push thing, but once she got it, she was on it. She was pushing, pushing, pushing. Now, the flaps were actually the hardest part for her. She got the side things, she got the push really well, but getting underneath it was hard. She kept trying to like bite them off. Um, definitely, she spent a lot of time enjoying herself with wagging her tail a lot, but my only concern is that she doesn't actually know that lunch is over, that she's finished the puzzle and everything that's in it is just gone. So I think that is definitely worth hours of entertainment for her. Um, I think after maybe a week or so, she'd really have this thing down. Probably will take some time to do that. The other part was that even with the um, grippy things over here, it didn't really stay on the floor. It definitely moved around a lot. We tried on carpet, we tried on hardwood. So we might have to come up with another solution for us since she was really aggressive and wanted to move this thing over all the time. She tried flipping upside down and everything. So definitely I'd say A plus on keeping the dog entertained, get some mental stimulation. And then I'd say maybe a little bit more work to do on securing it to the ground. So overall, I'd say definitely worth a try.